today I'm gonna take you guys to a beautiful place in Hapitale, Sri Lanka. It's called Adisham Bungalow. Now I'm on my way to Hapitale by Kalaba From the station, we have to go by bus or train. But today, I'm going to take the bus. So let's go. Bus, this other stretch you got to walk or you can go by your own vehicle or tuk tuk. It's just one and a half kilometers. This Adisham bungalow is situated in Tangamale century, so it's very soothing to walk on a huge, beautiful trees and some chirping of birds. Yeah, it's wonderful. Now I am near the main entrance of Vanishan, so you got to buy tickets to go into the monastery. So Locals, it's 25 rupees for an adult and it's 25 rupees for per child and for foreigners it's uh, 150 Sri Lankan rupees for an adult and it's 75 Sri Lankan rupees for per child. <laughs> Now I would like to build a bit about Adisham Bangalore. It was built in 1931 by English as Dr. Alphanda Sir Thomas Lister Willis, the former chairman of George Street Company and he was born in the English village of Adisham and he came to Sri Lanka in 1887 mm -hmm. and he was using this bungalow as his own house and he, after his retirement he sold this bungalow to the Mills. In 1961, it was purchased by Roman Catholic Church and transformed to a Roman Catholic monastery. Uh, so it's called Saint Benedict Monastery nowadays.
There are 100 varieties of roses, orchids and you can see varieties of oranges and fruit planted too in the Ashaman Loka. This bungalow is made of vibrant granite stone walls and the most amazing thing about this bungalow is you guys this every single staircase, doors, windows including the roof and floor is covered with Burma teak. All the materials used to build this bungalow have been imported from England. Street's architectural styles is done according to Tudor and Jacobian styles by uh, Mr. Webster and R. Wood. Uh, so the elevation is about 5,000 feet above sea level and uh, it's 10 acres land. Now I'm going to show you guys inside of the bungalow. So here we go. So guys, this is the painting of Sir Thomas Silas done by his loving wife Evelyn Hope. And something special about this painting is you guys. When you're from all the directions, you feel like he is looking at you. And uh, Mrs. Silas has used natural materials to paint this picture. And the other pictures also have been painted by Mrs. Willis. So the Achambanglo walls have decorated by them, even at present.
interested in fresh food products, you can buy jams, cordials, made of fruits from the Adisha Mango Garden. You can only visit this place from 9 a.m. to 4.30 p.m. only on weekends, public holidays and school holidays. And if you want to stay here, they provide accommodation with food. Till we meet again. Take care, stay safe. Bye. This is Travel with Uma Edition.